Today we have the mud bug, uh, Ben Wolford. Uh, ben, how's it going today? Pretty good, pretty good. You make your pro debut at uh, Fury FC 53. Uh, how's uh, everything feeling for your debut? Good, uh, especially this week has been like the smoothest fight week I've had. Body feels really good, so I'm looking forward to it. And you know, you ended your uh, amateur career at 6 and 1. What can you say about your amateur days? Oh man, it was a, just a really good experience, got a lot of comfort. And I feel like it really prepared me for this next step, you know. So I'm grateful for like everybody that stepped in there with me in those like tough fights. And you're traveling from Cleveland, I believe. Uh, how's everything? How's the atmosphere in Denver compared to over there in Cleveland? Uh, I you know the elevation is definitely a thing. That is definitely a thing. But we got out, did like hit some sprints, hit some breathing exercises, and I feel like. There's definitely a difference, but I think we'll be all right. And you know, you being from Cleveland, have you ran into Steve Miocic anytime? Like, yeah, yeah, he came, he came up through Strong Style, so same gym, same team, and everything. So yeah, definitely champion for a long time. Yeah, it's awesome. How much have you been working with uh, Mo Miller ahead of this, you know, in this fight? A lot, man, a lot. Uh, Mo's like one of my main training partners. He's obviously great to have. Pushes me in all aspects. Uh, Brandon Burr is another good training partner that we have. He's helped us out a bunch. Some good boxers have come in on the end of And uh, yeah, we got a good group of like stable guys. Can you make your debut against the top guys there at Troy? So what do you think of him as a fighter? I think he's a great opponent. Great opponent, tough dude. Uh, you know, good kickboxing, good jits, well rounded fighter. Uh, so it's going to be a good strategy. How were the weights? How was the weight cut? Do you have to cut a lot of weight or is it just like a smooth increase? Pretty smooth, pretty smooth. Yeah, I don't cut that much, I stay pretty low. So, uh, yeah, body feels good. Full belly, you know, you're ready to go. Awesome, awesome. Do you have a certain dimension in mind? I know you're not missing back, but like, do you have a certain ground in mind? No, no, no prediction. Uh, just kind of open to whatever, whatever happens. This fight, you know, Dana White's gonna be watching. Uh, when you heard the name Dana White was gonna be at your event, what was going through your mind when you saw it? It's just cool, man. You know, I've obviously been a fan uh, from like as a child. I've been a fan and watching the UFC, so just knowing that he's there is pretty cool. How many fights would you like to get in 2022? Oh man, uh, as many as possible. Like I said, I'm healthy. Hopefully that keeps going and we can just, you know, rack them out, but one at a time, you know, all that matters is tomorrow. You're going to celebrate after your win, like, uh, I know you have to focus on the fight, but yeah. is there anything in Denver that you're going to do afterwards? Yeah, me and friends are just going to get together, get some good food, and uh, just explore Denver a little bit, get up in the mountains maybe later nice. in the week, and kind of take in everything that Denver has to offer. What is one dream destination that you would like to buy at uh, some Oh man, well I'd love to go over to Asia. I'd love to be in Asia and just fight all over over there. If, it, if I if I could go all over the world and especially Asia, I think that'd be really cool. Uh, one championship, uh, here's your guy, sign up. Um, yeah, 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 what, yeah, 100%. What can the fans expect to see uh, from your debut? Uh, hard work. Just, we're just going to go in there and work hard and uh, show a full mixed martial arts. A full mixed martial arts team. And your nickname is an interesting one, Mudbug. Yep. Where did you get that nickname? Uh, Mudbug, that's like, actually, my buddy Chase and CJ, they are the ones who brought that to life. Uh, but a Mudbug is a crawfish. I'm from Louisiana, so, oh, okay. you know, crawfish boils, that's that, that's our thing. Um, so I got to rep the home state, got to rep Louisiana with the Mudbug. Uh, so how did the Louisiana, a guy from Louisiana who brought a way up there to Cleveland, Ohio? Uh, I went initially to wrestle at Cleveland State, and uh, you know, once I was done wrestling, I went back home for a little bit, was trying to figure out where I was going to train, and I found Strong Style. Uh, they had already had a couple Cleveland State guys who trained there, and I went and checked it out, and it was like, from day one, I knew it was a great place. And if I wasn't going to be back home in Louisiana, I knew Cleveland would be a perfect, like, other destination. 
Boys of Louisiana Boy, uh, have you tried Justin Poirier's hot sauce? I haven't yet. I haven't, wow. but I've heard, I've heard really good things. I definitely need to try it. Shout out to him, like just being a great role model, and representative of Louisiana. But yeah, I definitely got to get that hot sauce. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're still at like an early stage in the career, but is that something that you kind of want to pursue, like just branding? Like, do you want to make your own hot sauce? Do you want to like maybe get a charity going? Like, what are some like big dreams for? Yeah, definitely. I think somebody like that has definitely set a good path, you know, a good roadmap. Um, but yeah, I definitely just want to represent Louisiana, uh, you know, represent Strong Style. Just any, any way that I can do that, like, that's what I'm about. For sure, for sure. Then, you know, what are some of your hobbies outside of the podcast? Uh, me and a couple friends, we have a videography business, so that keeps us pretty busy. Uh, really enjoy videography. Puppy who's been keeping me busy, you know. So uh, he's another one. And then video games, you know, like everybody else, video games, good movies, uh, good shows. What is your favorite video game? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Skater XL lately. Like, okay. A lot of Skater XL. Uh, PlayStation or Xbox? Favorite PlayStation. PlayStation okay. guy. Yeah, yeah. My guy. Good guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's probably my favorite right now. Ben Willard had a movie about it. What would the title be? Mudbug. Mudbug. That's it, man. We're just going to keep going with Mudbug. If a celebrity had a play in a movie, who would it be? Oh, gosh. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, you know? You know? I'm told that he looks like me. Oh, wow. So, you know, yeah, it people, makes sense. People ask him to play. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, exactly. Is there anything that you want to say to the fans out there watching and what can the fans find you on social media? Uh, at Ben Williford125 um, on Instagram. And hope you guys enjoy the show, man. Thank you, everybody, for all the support. I uh, really appreciate you guys. Strong Style, Louisiana. I uh, love you guys. Awesome, man. Catch the pro entrance of Mudbug at Fury FC 53 on Sunday. Thanks, guys.